Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life, if you don't already know. You're probably wondering, what are you doing in a towel and a robe, Jess? Well, the first video that I made, the original video, at the start of it, there was this message that, is that I wanted to share. And it ended up being so long. It ended up being 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, but it ended up taking up so much of our normal space. And I felt like it was so important. I felt really called and guided to share that message with you guys. But it ended up taking so much of our normal space that I just felt like it would bleed over into the weekly forecast and that I should separate the two. So while I was filming that, and well, after I was done filming that, I ended up getting rerouted. I ended up talking to my mom and then I ended up meeting up with some of you guys from the Bahati Vibe Tribe, which we did a walking tour. And then we did... Um, some tarot readings like a tarot ring circle, which was awesome by the way And then we ended up getting some gumbo and then we were Have other plans planned for later on tonight, but we just rescheduled it, but that's neither here nor there so What ended up hap what ended up happening was I saw how long that video was and I didn't want to leave you guys hanging on Any one of those things so I separated the two and I needed to create a new intro So I want to say thank you so much for being really patient with me with this week's information. I did say in the original video, and I'm not sure if it will be included in this in this um, video that I'm uploading now, but I wanna make sure that you guys understand that for, for whatever reason, I really felt called to move away from the astrology charts, from relying on the astrology charts, and also tarot cards. Now, you guys know that I pull a lot of my intuition by looking at the symbols in the tarot and also looking at the symbols in the planets within the chart when I'm doing these weekly readings for you guys. But this week, I really felt called to navigate away from that and to work mostly with my intuition. And you'll see that in this weekly forecast where I'm relying more from Oracle, from the Oracle deck, not in an intuitive sense, but just to share that message. But the predominant message that came through that I is, is timeless I'll link it down below, it's the start of this video, but it's pretty much about navigating through that shadow space, that dark space. If I was relying on the tarot, if I was relying on the astrology chart, I pretty much feel like I would not have received that message, not in the way that I did. So I think that everything happens for a reason. I hope that it, as all my messages, I hope that it reaches you at the right time in your life when you need to hear it. But I didn't want to give you guys less than what it is that, you know, I felt called to. So that's why there's two videos. That's why this is kind of chamba chamba. That's why chamba chamba meaning like kind of butch, like um, butchered a little bit. But please excuse the poor quality. I just wanted to keep it real with you. I wanted to keep it authentic. But that being said, the next video, well, the rest of this content is going to break down our week our weekly energy, our overall weekly energy, the energy covering us Monday through Wednesday, the second one is Wednesday through Friday, and the third one is Friday through Sunday. And then we're gonna go through our supporting energies and our challenges as we do every other week. So I hope that that makes sense. I know that it's kind of a lot. I personally am tired at this point. I am ready for bed. But I wanted to make sure that I got this up for you guys tonight. I did not want to leave you guys hanging. So you're going to see the intuitive message, which I think I'm going to call navigating through that shadow side and this thing about like time, something about time. I'm not sure what I'm going to title it, but I'm going to link it down below for those of you guys that have been really been struggling through that like limbo phase, feeling like you're kind of suspended in this like hanged man space within your life or this hermetic mode and you don't know why and you don't know when things are going to switch up and when things are going to change that message is going to be directly for you and what is that i'm seeing for us in that space and that's also timeless because this will be like a cycle in our lives i don't know if you guys have noticed but there are these cycles these highs highs and sometimes these low lows and this is for those that have been going through that shadow space and not knowing why and what's going to happen and how they can navigate through that. And for those of you guys that are losing your faith and don't know why things are happening in the way that they are, this is going to help to clear that up. That also being said, I think that we still need to talk about the shadow side. I think we still need to talk about that being stuck in that void. And that's one of the next videos that I want to upload for you. But in the meantime, this is that weekly our weekly forecast for the week of August 23rd, I think is the start of this week. We do have a full moon coming, and I'm going to have a video for you guys on that. But in the meantime, I'm going to get this up. I'm going to rest my eyes, and then I'm going to come back, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay? So the next, you know, moving forward with this video, it's going to cover your... <laughs> It's gonna cover your the week ahead, the energies, the energies of the week ahead. 
The timestamps will be down below in the description box and I'll also leave them in a comment. Let me know how this vibes with you and um, what's going on in your life personally. Making sure that you keep your, you include your sun sign and your rising sign so I can continue to keep track on what it is that I've been seeing and feeling for the collective, okay? All right, let's move forward. But I have cards here pulled for you and they are coming directly from the Oracle and they, they resonate and they support what it was that I just said and that message that I, that I just shared with you guys. Now you can take notes. Now you can pull out your journals and write down Monday through Wednesday, Wednesday through Friday, Friday through Sunday. And then the things that are supporting us and the things that are challenging us and the words that we can use in order to work with that to help us raise our, our, our vibration, our vibration and you know call in some great great things and to feel good most mostly let that be our goal is to have peace and to have clarity and guidance and direction and to know that we are not alone to know how loved we are to know how much we're being filled and that also there's going to be moments where you feel really filled and there's going to be moments where you feel very empty and it will keep going because that's the cycle and that's okay because i go through it and i feel it and you just roll with it just time man time is all we have and it just keeps moving forward now i want to allow my intuition to be triggered but i also want to share with you guys the oracle decks that i'm working with that i'm going to be pulling from <laughs> they are going to be serving me so that i can serve you and the first one is notes from the universe on love and connection written by Mike Dooley and I love this guy because he is just the sweetest thing I could just sense his energy is so sweet he's and I also feel like he's been through a lot I don't know his personal story but I vibe with him um, the nature speak Oracle is another deck that I'll be working with and I love this deck a lot because I'm an earth baby myself as a Virgo and I love working with the elements of nature and being inspired by it and it reminds me every day that if nature is going through the cycle and can live through it then i i too can do that as well and then the next deck that i wanted to work with is the enchanted map by colette baron reed and i like this too because i feel like so many of us need a little bit of extra guidance with the steps that we need to take moving forward okay so the first thing that i'm seeing that are, is covering us for this entire week is the sunflower and the rose the sunflower shows this message of focus on the happiness at hand and then the the rose is connected to love and healing now with these two cards what i'm seeing and what i'm feeling is kind of what i was saying before with time that we're not going any further into the future we're not staying into the past if we stay into the past we're getting depression we're thinking about what we could have done differently and we're not able to heal ourselves because we stay hyper focused on what has happened when we go too far into the future we're thinking about all that can come and we start getting anxious how can we how can we prepare how can we make ourselves ready the universe god divine spirit right now is calling you and calling me to focus on right here right now the thing that i want to say with the sunflower that as beautiful as it is, it is connected to divine masculinity, the energy of divine masculine, and it's also connected to the sun, and it's connected to strength and happiness. It just follows the sun wherever it goes. The head of the sunflower follows the light of the sun, and then when the sun goes down, it also gets dormant, it also gets quiet. The thing is, with the sunflower, that I want to talk about is balance, because the sunflower's head is so strong, or so so big and so mighty but and it'll continue to grow following that light but sometimes it will collapse under its own weight so and that's the other thing too and, and the sunflower as beautiful as it is it will if it's off balance it will collapse under the light of its own greatness so I'm seeing this as a metaphor for whatever it is that you're going through this week and it's a message to be present in this moment to not get too far ahead of yourself and to not leave yourself behind or to stay with this those old aspects within yourself that are learning to heal or that are being healed now currently in this moment the other thing is that we're focusing so much on our healing presently and sometimes the weight of that can be quite a burden and with this we don't want you to collapse under perfecting who you are and healing to create this perfect version of you. I am feeling this spirit of this message of transformation because that's the next card and I'll show you that in just a moment. 
transformation by accepting things as is and to not allow who you are not yet to bring you down and to not allow who you have been to bring you down or the mistakes that you've made to expect anything more from yourself and to not um, to, well, let me go back to that. To not expect anything more of yourself from the the decisions that you've made in the past, because you did what you did, knowing all that you, knowing all that you knew, and to to you, that's how you reacted. You know what I mean? That's what the decision that you've made. So let that go, and don't get too far ahead of yourself in the future. By all means, envision the future. But I'm seeing for this week this this reminder to be present in that every step that you're taking in this moment, in this next moment, in that next moment, all of those steps are guiding you towards the future. Knowing that, let the decisions that you make, let them be with love and light and happiness and joy and pleasure. And the things that you're doing, let them feel like they are filling your purpose. Let them feel like they're leading to your destiny so it's going to require the best version of you but it's not going to over require too much from you because you're just making the decision right here right now now with that I'm seeing these cards and I really really love this is the first card is metamorphosis and this is from the enchanted map metamorphosis is total transformation total evolution total ch um, change where you haven't abandoned all of who you are in the past you're evolving it and that is by staying present in that moment, by the conscious decisions that is that you make. The next thing we're seeing is the card of coming to life. And this, to me, co-signs everything that I've been saying about like, now is the time. Now is the time to step out. Now is the time to break these barriers. Now is the time where you are c coming out of the darkness. That is what is metamorphosizing for you. Think about a caterpillar that is in this cocoon and in this darkened space and now they're metamorphosizing into this butterfly, they're coming out, they're stepping out. It's not something that is rushed. In fact, to rush it would be painful and it would mean that that butterfly's wings would not be strong enough to support the weight and the magnitude of who they are, the beauty of who they are. Um, yeah, so it's, and, and also that's the other thing too, I'm seeing metamorphosis of this total change of the darkened space, this area of your life that seems so hopeless and seems so bleak and please believe me you guys because I want to tell you that so many of you guys have lost faith throughout this journey and that is okay or have lost faith that this can transform that this can evolve that this can heal that you are somehow going to be better because of all of this you will believe me if you don't believe anything please believe that because I also was sitting within that and I was I talked about this in my sacred circle tarot school where I went back into my depression and I was just like, I can't believe, I can't believe that this is my life. I can't believe that this is how I'm feeling when I have you guys and I have my family and I have my friends. Why am I in this depression state right now? I have this success that's around me. Why am I, revisit why am I revisiting this? Why is this what I'm feeling? And I had to I get stuck in that web, man. <laughs> I had to get stuck in that web. So, and I was learning a lot. And that's just, it's a part of, it's a part of the process, a part of the journey. But for all of us, we are coming back to life now. Literally, we're feeling the life coming back to us. We're feeling that light. And the light is there to serve as a reflection, but it's also to, 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 to serve as a guiding light to help us. Like, these, this is the next step. This is the next wave. This is the aspect within yourself that you needed to heal, and it's okay. No one expected you to be anything more than what you were because you had to go through that in order to evolve. Because if we were to give you, if we were to bless you with everything that it is that you've been asking for, you wouldn't have been prepared. And you guys see me rubbing my nose. It's because the universe is speaking now. Okay? So metamorphosis is coming out of that dark and coming to life, like literally coming to life. We're seeing the light, we're growing now. We're that sunflower that's following the sunlight. Like, okay, now is my time. About damn time, like that's been so amazing. And then we had the magic stream. And this card is all about the energy that you put out there is a reflection of you in a lot of ways. If you are in a space where you are at peace, and you are content and you have self-love and self-respect, that is the energy that you will put out. If you are in a space where there is discord and imbalance and depression, you know, it's, it's really important that you cocoon yourself and hold yourself in the hands of the divine and hold yourself within that spider web just for that moment and to not fight it. Because the things that you put out, the words that you put out, the things that you're manifesting, they are not a reflection of your ultimate highest potential because you are not at your highest potential at that time. 
you actually need to receive. You need to receive healing. You need to receive time. You need to receive compassion from others, from yourself, from the universe. So what I'm seeing is being in this magic stream, I see this as replenishment. I see this as total replenishment to help you to come to life so that you can drink, like literally drink the elixir of life to bring you back, to stir you back. And that being said, I we pulled the dragon's lair, but this this card was reversed. And when this card is reversed with with the drag lair reversed, basically this is being mindful of pitfalls, being mindful of those thoughts, those people, those places, those situations, those circumstances that you know that if you were going to that cave, you would get your hand snapped. With the Dragon's Lair reversed, when this card is reversed, this is being mindful and aware of, you know, this thing, if I go in this journey or if I go in this direction, I, and there is danger attached to it, or if there's risk attached to it, I need to confirm within myself and in my intuition that I am called to go down this path because I am called to, to take a risk. I'm called to take a leap of faith. That being said, there are some things that, there's some risks that you don't need to take. There's some things that you don't need to mess around with because you will get burned. You will get singed. So that's something that I want you guys to be very mindful of and aware of. Um, and as I'm even looking at this, it's 9 and 1. So 19 bring, breaks down into um, 9, 10. So it breaks down into number one, nine, ten, yeah, one. So it's like the end, I'm almost seeing like this cycle, again, this cycle ending of I'm exiting out of this dragon's lair, I'm exiting out of my worst case scenario, I'm exiting out of these struggles, these obstacles, because this dragon's going to come back, this frozen barren land, and I'm being birthed new, I'm starting over fresh, I'm starting this next stage within my life. And maybe that in itself is a, a risk for you because you have to let go of some things but it'll be worth it i'm i definitely am seeing the word is the elixir of life and it's coming in the form of love it's coming in the form of healing and it's coming in the form of the things that are ultimately going to make you happy so that's what i'm seeing for that and then the last card to cover us for this week is things are about to get really juicy which shows me that as things, as you're drinking from this elixir, as this life is returning back to you, life is going to start picking up. Things are going to start getting exciting. And knowing that, take the lessons that you've learned and apply them to your present. Evolve, because you have been in this space totally of metamorphosis. So it's going to require a different side of you. It's going to require a different level from you, but everything is perfect. Everything is complete. Everything is just as it should be. But, you know, evolve. Evolve and do things differently so that you can experience different things. And I don't know why, but the elixir of life is the thing that just keeps coming to me as I'm going through these cards, right? So, Monday through Wednesday, I'm seeing the card or we pulled, it's not as if you need anyone. This is really about you making the right decision for you, being independent. And I'm seeing this as the person who goes through the dragon's lair in order to find the purpose, you know, or to fulfill this purpose, whatever that is. It almost reminds me of like Prince Charming who has to go to the dragon's lair to save the princess. For a lot of you guys, um, you know, whatever it is that your purpose is, you have to go through this darkness you have to go through past you know kind of prove yourself in some way that's why life is about to get juicy but also it's you don't really need anyone this is your purpose this is your journey so you have to show up you have to show up totally transformed totally evolved with this higher higher level of this is why i'm doing it we have to make sure that make sure that the princess or whatever that thing is is worth it and you'll know you'll know Anyways, the next thing that I'm seeing that we have pulled is the valley, this fertile new role. So, so many of us are, again, being birthed new Monday through Wednesday. We're seeing this new door open up, this new journey, or we're connecting with it in our minds, in our third eye, and in our heart. It's something that we feel, I am going to start this next wave. I am metamorphosized. I am totally different. I've totally evolved. I thought I was evolved before, but I just learned. I just learned so much. That was one card too, the teacher. That little hair is from my, my carpet. But yeah, this teacher this teacher um, card showed up to, to show you like you're learning a lot. Even as I see this, I'm seeing this person holding their hands out as an offering. And it says, look, 
in order for you to and again it's like the elixir this energy it's like this I'm giving you life that's what I'm seeing from this card is this offering I am going to teach you this lesson but I'm not going to leave you with nothing I'm, I'm going to give you the resources to learn and I'm also going to give you the resources to support yourself and have energy so as we're teaching you this lesson we're also giving you life we're also going to to feed you we're also going to support you that's going to help you to get through and to navigate um, you know the the rest of the path for you to take and then also it's not as if you need anyone meaning like for many of you guys you're striking out on your own you're doing this on your own accord because there's this highest higher purpose that is calling you and pulling you the next thing that I'm seeing is on this fertile new journey on this new fertile role you want to continue to stay in a space of prayer and don't do this alone even though you are doing it independently you're not doing it alone because you're relying on the divine so continue to pray continue to go to your altar continue to um, talk to your ancestors continue to talk to your guides to help help to guide the way because they are also teachers they're there to, to show you the way they're there to help you to learn so don't do it alone in that way as you're coming to life ask them for help journal um, write down your experiences this card, Blue Moon, is showing this rare opportunity, this new, this newness. It doesn't even seem like it's possible, but somehow it is. And it's this thing that is starting to harvest itself, that is starting to come into your life. And you're going to start to see it come to life as well. Again, it's like, let's say it's your career life that's been dormant, or your money, or your finances, or your love life, or your health has been dormant. Or it seems like despair, like you just don't know how it's going to. Well, the Blue Moon is that sign that says, look, this once in a lifetime moment, this miracle, this perfect timing, this divine timing, this elixir of life is going to be fed to this and it's going to come to life again. It's going to be returned back to you because you've learned, because you've changed, because you've evolved. The next cards that I'm seeing for, oh, and that's Monday through Wednesday that is what it is that I'm seeing. The next thing that I'm seeing uh, for Wednesday through Friday is you might not know now but you will and this is a testament I think to you again being in that darkened space and you not knowing why things are the way that they are or why someone did what they did or why this opportunity didn't work out if you stay in this space again this this um, suspension the pieces will start to fall together they'll start to make sense and Wednesday through Friday during this reflection time it's like you're getting the answers that it is that you've been looking for that you've been striving for to help you to to, to try out to, to kind of calm down your fears and encourage you to take those next steps forward and to support that we see the wind the change a change is coming it's like literally messages coming in this is very eight of wands energy which it comes in with a message it comes in with a revelation it comes in with this bolt of lightning so change is coming <laughs> And as I say, lightning, the storm card, resolve conflicts. So that, and then we have Ivy, stretch and explore. So what you can experience and what you're seeing Wednesday through Friday, Wednesday through Friday, is these things that have been so conflicting, so tense, filled with tension. Now it's starting to make sense. Don't let this give you anxiety. For some of you guys, your stomach just dropped. It's remember you're evolved. Remember that you're understanding and learning. This is why it didn't work out. And I did call this into my life, but I will take the pieces of that that I liked and I'm going to see what I liked, but I'll also see the red flags. And I will see that I don't want these red flags in my life and I don't have to compromise. So I'm going to call out with this magic stream what it is that I truly want as I'm coming to life. What is it that I truly want? And take those aspects that I enjoyed and that I grew from and that would help me to thrive and I'm going to call out for more because I'm letting go of those red flags. I'm letting go of those things that didn't work out to serve me. So you might not know, you might not know before, but you will learn, you will know. And maybe it's not Wednesday through Friday, but it's the days to come, the days that are following, probably around that new moon in Virgo. Friday through Sunday, we're having this confirmation, we're having this support from the universe that says, look, change is good. Change isn't necessarily a bad thing. Don't get nervous. Don't panic when we tell you that we're going to change things up, especially when we have these cards like the magic stream and coming to life and metamorphosis. 
this is showing you that things have been needing to change for quite some time and that this change is there to support you in fact the cards that i have around me here are spirit is about showing that you're not alone in this that you know your ancestors your guides are working to evolve things for your highest self um, for you to receive then we have maple relationship balance i'm seeing this as not only relationships with other people your intimate relationships or the relationships with your family or i'm seeing this also as the relationship with yourself your relationship with your purpose your relationship with the world your relationship with money your relationship with loving like giving and receiving love how you talk to strangers how you talk to yourself that's what is going to come about here and that is what is changing marshlands transition and change change is good this isn't necessarily a bad thing marshlands seem like they're mucky and gross but there's a lot of change that's happening really really fast below the surface for the the greatest good of all of us collectively so that's what i'm seeing over friday through sunday over the weekend is you know what i'm gonna change up i'm gonna switch up for some reason i feel like i need to read the back of this card to you guys it says change is good actually the only effective way of changing another person is by changing yourself it works every time guaranteed though i'm kind of partial to the way that you are right now tally ho the universe so what i love about that is like there's some things that you can't change but you can change yourself. You can make that decision to, met to metamorphosize, to evolve. And with that, people will learn from you, you being the teacher, and they will follow in your steps or the relationship will change and it will separate or it will evolve in some way. But there's a lot of met metamorphosis that's coming out here. I want, as I'm saying this, I wanna take us to a step back with uh, Wednesday through Friday, I think, which was, no, Monday through Monday through Wednesday which is power and prayer don't neglect your prayer don't neglect your intention don't neglect ask, asking your ancestors and your guides for help um, as you are changing it as you're evolving because it's going to help it feel better even if it's painful you're going to know that pain has a purpose you know what I mean even if you're afraid you're going to be given the confidence you're going to be given the strength Again, I'm seeing this teacher coming through as a guide, spirits, and also your ancestors, and also the people around you, and the situations around you, and I'm seeing them giving you the elixir of life. So drink from it, drink from it, you need this. Don't do, don't do this journey without this. So there is a lot of change that is happening here, and there's balance that is being restored, and that is such a blessing. All of this, I wanna remind you, is because we wanna give you love. We wanna give you healing. We wanna give you happiness not just now in this moment but for that to come but you have to evolve because realistically i don't think that you would have been able to live the life of your dreams and live the life that you want as status quo because you would have been too anxious you would have been too you know finding fault in everything you would have been um not prepared you wouldn't be strong enough you wouldn't be mentally have the ideas you wouldn't mentally be challenged you know what i mean so there's a reason why things are the way that they are now when it comes to support the cards that are supporting you and the things that it is that we want to remember somehow those cards just disappeared <laughs> let me see if i can find them okay the cards that showed up to support us are you are destined for greatness on the wings of love and that brings me right back to here love and healing that rose and also this the sunflower happiness at hand and then we also see oak be strong but gentle pine says balance the emotions these are the things that are supporting us when you know that you are doing things that you're moving out of love and not out of um, attachment not out of addiction not out of lack you're doing it from a space of love it changes the vibration of all things like truly it does and also if your intent is good and if your will is good and if you're open to healing and if you're open to loving it's the universe just lifts that energy up it just supports it and it you know people just love loving people you know and people who give without any conditions and those people just end up receiving they're around so much plentiful energy they just receive it the other thing is that the universe like god wants to pour love into you and it's like if I am open to receiving the divine's love, if I'm open to receiving God's love, if I'm open to receiving the love from the universe and this love that is pouring into me, 
it will fill me up and buoy me but some of us are so blocked let me pause this because my mom's calling and I want to talk to her. Okay, so as you can see, there's a little bit of a time lapse. It's because I lost track of time while I was out and about and while I was talking to my mom. But I do want to say, I want to finalize this reading for you guys because the message remains the same. And the things that are supporting us are you are destined for greatness on the wings of love. And if you guys are like, just what happened to your hair? New Orleans humidity is what happened to my hair and also I got caught in a rainstorm so judge not but this is just me in my natural state and then we have okay you are destined for greatness on the wings of love and we have balanced the emotions and be strong but gentle and the thing that I see with that that I saw this morning is everything that we do literally comes out of a space of love and if you are moving from a space of love and you know that about yourself and others are vibrating from that same space you are being i mean how could there not how could it not be successful how could it not be how could success not be guaranteed and i think too what i'm seeing with this is the universe god wants to give to us you know the things that our hearts our heart truly desires and the things that we that would make us happy and we sometimes have a tendency to block that we have a tendency to cancel it out or to negate it or to doubt it or to resist it in a lot of ways and what we want to do is we want to flow with it we want to be open and we want to open our arms to receive it if we are open to that love then we are lifted up we are it's like it fills us up and it's like a tank if that water comes pouring in that water is love it starts pouring in and we see our boat our ship start to rise 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 and then it's ready to set sail because it has all that it needs in order to make momentum and that's ultimately what is that I'm seeing here the other thing that I want to say with this is that loving someone and loving yourself, it doesn't come without healthy boundaries. And when you love something, you learn how to speak up for, for it and also for yourself because you're protecting it and you're protecting yourself. Even if the person that you love or the thing that you love is crossing your boundaries and crossing your territory and making you uncomfortable, you learn, just like how Franklin is sitting there with his back to us right now, he, he's made a conscious decision to cancel us out because he probably wants cuddles right now and he's done <laughs> and i understand that completely but yeah when you make a conscious decision um or when you love something there's still it doesn't mean that you become passive to it it doesn't mean that you roll over and you accept things as the cards lie or that you accept any type of treatment in order for your love to be healthy and to stay in a space of healthy, there needs to be effective communication and you need to say that this is my boundary, this makes me feel good, this makes me feel bad, this is what I want, this is what I need, this is what I don't want. So there is this speaking out and having balance. And then also you, in order for you to feel balanced, in order for you to feel love, in order for you to receive love and to give love, there has to be a healthy balance of your emotions within that too. Um, and in order to help in, in order to help restore it and to keep that if that makes any sense so I'm seeing that here with the oak card but be strong but gentle it's not about forcing your will or forcing some someone or something it's about if the thing that you love also loves you and chooses you there is a natural balance that comes together to bring those things together and I truly feel that this is a week where we are filling our cups up we're filling ourselves up and the water is starting to lift us up so we can lift our feet up it's not something that is forced it's very gentle it's very nurturing and it allows that energy to flow good job franklin sometimes he has a hard time with that okay and when it comes to the obstacle like i said before or not the obstacle but the challenge it says love is the reason so this is a reminder of why it is that we are doing what is that we're doing that when you are challenged and when you are being challenged remind yourself i'm doing this because i love it and because i love it i'm going to step with i'm going to step towards it with love only i'm not going to step forward with obligations or expectations or anything i'm not going to ask for anything other than for me just to have the space to, to arrive at my destination with love that's it and that's all that i ask of you is to arrive to me with love and light only that's the only thing that it is that i'm asking so when things start getting wonky and weird and if you need that reminder, remind yourself that love is the reason for all things. If you are doubting yourself, if you wonder, is there ever going to be love for you? Are you ever going to feel love? Are you ever going to be healed? 
and and experience love within yourself and love from the divine the answer is yes love is the reason love is the reason for our existence it's the reason of why we are here it's the reason why why we connect with certain people or why we do certain things love is the reason now each this back of this card says each person in your life is there for a reason and that reason always has something to do with love like me the universe and i love that reminder then we have the elm card that says trust your intuition we have the dandelion that says persist in your pursuits and then we have fog and mist that says be cautious and with that with this be cautious and trust your intuition Definitely. I mean, that goes without a doubt. I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory, but sometimes, and I just had this conversation with one of the girls that I was just hanging out with that kind of made this time lapse happen, which was perfect because I, I'm having a good, well, I'm having another good day. But sometimes it's with your intuition, you'll get these hunches and you'll get these moments where these moments of clarity and allow yourself to flow with that without having to figure out why. Just listen to it just observe it just know that something feels off without you having to dig 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 to find out what it is where it's coming from i think that things are going to reveal themselves eventually like if not now like this card said let's see if i can find it if this card says you might not know now but you will your intuition is sig signaling to you that there's some things that might be going on behind the scenes and that might be challenging you or some things are not clear to you but just trust your intuition and continue to move forward. But go slow. And with everything that you do, do it with love and intention, positive intention. And everybody else, everything else, their fate is sealed, if that makes any sense. So when you start feeling challenged this week, go back to this mantra. Love is the reason I'm arriving at this, at my destination with love. And I'm bringing with me love. What would love do? And, if, and whatever that is. Whatever it is that you're faced with, ask yourself that question. What would love do? And when you need an answer, love is the reason, okay? So I hope that makes sense. Sorry that this video is so chamba chamba, as we say, <laughs> say in Jamaica, like it's kind of like choppy and put together kind of hastily, I don't want to say, but the energy is a little hasty with me um, starting it at the start of this, start of the morning, and now I'm finishing it at literally seven o'clock. I wasn't expecting that, but you know, I'm kind of in a space right now where I'm flowing and I'm experiencing all these revelations. So I'm not going to fight it. And I'm not going to force it. I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to flow with it. And I want to invite you guys to do the same thing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video met you at the right time at your journey. And if you want to, if you feel called to, then you can go ahead and revisit it and take notes as needed. But until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.